Hey y'all, Mr. Tim's here. Uh, this is my Samsung 50 inch LED uh, that I did another video on. Uh, going to just show you how my keyboard setup uh, that I got the wireless keyboard so I could use with the smart the smart hub here. So um, I, I picked up this at Walmart uh, later after I got the TV. This is the Logitech. It's the four K. Excuse me, the K400. And it is a wireless keyboard and it has the mouse pad that would come on a um, laptop. So it is, I think the performance of it is fine. It seems to work well. Um, it's fairly thin, light, has on off button here, which is red and green. Let's see if I can show that. Here, red and green, and uh, it actually uses uh, double A batteries. And so, you know, you got your mouse pad and everything all in one there. Uh, it was very easy, it was plug and play. It came with a USB stick, um, which I can show you here. Uh, which, uh, when I picked it up, it actually did something on the TV here. See here, I can go back to my smart hub. But let me show you the back here. If we look back here, I actually got it out on the extension. Where is it at? Here, this is uh, this is the uh, Logitech. It, and that goes right in the USB port on the back. Okay, so um, as I said before, the, the keyboard seems to work well. The thing is, is this is a to to use it on this TV. This is not a very fast um, reacting item. So we'll go to the Smart Hub. We'll go into um, the browser, and I'll go over here and. It actually lets me, at this point, I believe, if if I go ahead and I start with the mouse here, you can actually see this works pretty well. Um, and so, as a pointer, let's go over the web browser. And I'm going to do all this in live time so you can get a real good feel of... Um, how this browser reacts with the um, keyboard. And how fast the browser acts itself. Um, I think the limitations on this keyboard and, and uh, smart TV setup is not the, you know, the, the connection between the two, it's the speed of the browser here. Um, of course, if you can get the mobile cells out there working, this will work a whole lot faster. Um, but if you need to really get in here and search on something, um, that makes it a little bit easier to have a keyboard. So I'll, I'll go up to, um, we'll go up here and I'll just change, let's just change. Go up here, tap. And it was going to pop that up down there, but I can just go ahead and start typing. Let's say I wanted to go to Yahoo. And I'm one hand typing here. You have to excuse me. I'm trying to video and one hand type. There we go. And I'll hit enter. And you know, that's better than that keyboard <laughs> uh, or struggling with that that remote and the keys down at the bottom. So. Um, you know, like I said, the limitations of uh, of that are, you know, it is what it is. Not a computer, it's a smart TV. So um, I can go back up here, you know, I can get in search boxes. It's going to give me the same option down there. Let's say I wanted to go to YouTube. Search YouTube. That's performing pretty fast here. And 
you know, I've got the mouse, I'll be able to go up to there. Click on that. Like I said, I want to do, do all this in real time so you can see how fast this whole system works. Um, so there's YouTube popping up there. So, um, you know, this, uh, this keyboard, uh, I, I'm happy with it. You know, I, I wish the whole system was more fluid, fluidly worked together, but it works. Um, and it'll definitely save you from, you know, spending a lot of time, uh, with this, uh, with the with the remote down here clicking one number at a time or one letter at a time trying to type in a big long address or trying to search something on YouTube um, it seems to be uh, fairly easy to use just have to be patient